Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D Arcore tutorial and this time uh, I've got a request by one of our fans he asked me to uh, create a tutorial on how to create some kind of uh, box cutter so apparently there are many of those and there are probably many shapes and many uh, kinds of them um, I prefer to stick to the usual one, the common one and I think uh, it took me about a few hours uh, between yesterday and today to some, somewhat, somehow uh, uh, understand a uh, few things uh, when, when, when you want to create uh, such a thing. Okay, so um, this is what we are going to do and let's start. So, first file, uh, I will save this because it is precious and let's just call it box cutter. Okay, save. And let's go over file, new scene. And <clears throat> as usual, uh, first go over shading, smooth white terrain, just to smooth the white terrain in the work area. And also go over create polygon primitives and make sure that the interactive, interactive creation is unchecked uh, with Visa. If it is, so just click on it and it will disappear. So now when we want to use one of those polygons here, um, in, with one click they just appear here in the scene. So just click on the cube, press 5 to get shader, and use the scale tool in order to stretch this, okay, to about something like so. Now, uh, one thing which is very important, um, there is an order of how to do this, uh, and I suggest you to follow this step by step without avoiding any step or missing any step. Um, try to do this as accurate as you can. Uh, it took me some time to memorize it and so I can deliver you a tutorial which is basically, uh, uh, you know, um, I try to make this tutorial about third third time, okay? so. Um, and every time I got some issue and I couldn't uh, continue it so I had to do this all over again so again try to uh, just follow me step by step and make sure that everything is done correctly so hold down the shift right click choose insert edge loop tool and by the way F8 one sec first sorry F8 to bring it back to object mode. I want to go over the insert edge loop tool and make sure that I reset it. Okay, so this is the this tool, and after I reset it, we can continue by adding one edge over here at this side. Just click and drag, and when when you want to release, okay, so when you want to the line to be created, just release the button and then we're going to create one edge over here and one edge over there and one edge over here and one edge over there okay so basically we covered the all uh, axes and we are going to do this one more time okay one here okay uh, one over there by the way, um, I had issues with my wireless mouse. He somehow uh, the wheel didn't work, and I don't know, maybe too much pressure on the wheel. It's just a little annoying at the weekend to find a mouse <laughs> here. So, okay, so. I managed to uh, get another mouse somehow so I can create this tutorial so this is it for this thing now um, the next thing is to right click choose face choose this face 
I will close this because we don't need it and choose this face here now we are going over shading here click on it so it will expand and choose x-ray okay now with those two faces selected you click extrude and you use the gizmo blue arrow tool okay blue arrow to bring them inside and that way with the x-ray applied you can see them okay now when they are somewhat uh, close to each other uh, just press delete on your keyboard okay that way right click choose vertices choose those inner vertices okay so it's safe you can just select them that way and there are no other vertices here except those so go over edit mesh uh, click on the merge box here and if you go over edit reset setting so basically by default this is your setting and you can try apply them but let's see what will happen okay if this is the case uh, from this distance distant uh, they should merge correctly and then right click choose edge you can get rid of this box choose this edge and double click on one of those inner edges that way and hold down the shift right click choose delete edge okay this time we are using this tool not the don't try don't attempt to delete with your uh, keyboard delete key okay now after this is done um, we are going to the uh, we are going to do something like that I'll show you um, first go over shading x-ray and okay so hold down the shift right click choose insert edge loop and here I want you to add one edge okay here one edge here okay so we are going to do this to each corner like so okay uh, you can click and drag it and when it, you go to the limit of it uh, step backward a little bit and release again and also here that way okay um, F8 to bring it back to object mode now the thing is um, the next step is going to be a little bit tricky but try to uh, follow it uh, cautiously I think this is the word okay um, by the way, if we will uh, press 3 to smooth preview it, so this is what you will get, and this is what I'm trying to achieve, okay, at first. Now it's getting a little bit more complicated, so right click, choose face, by the way, press 1 to snap out from this uh, smooth preview, and I'm going to extrude only this face, so extrude it, tap on one of those cubes once, so you will get the middle one and then grab it and do something like this okay try to adjust this inner face right now to somewhat like so okay maybe even more like so and then we are going to grab this face and do the same but this time we are going to use the x-ray or the top view so it's better to use sorry it's better to use the top view um, you change to the four view first by clicking this or pressing the spacebar okay so it will give you the four view put your mouse cursor over the top view which is here and press spacebar again to expand it now if you want to go back to four view you just tap the spacebar again and then you get the four view put your mouse cursor in whatever window you want and press spacebar to expand it okay so just so you will understand this uh, maneuver by the way this is the perspective view so you can always uh, 
select it to bring it back to perspective view. Again, top view, and here we are at the top view, and I will just zoom in so you can see things better. You see those brown lines here, okay? There, there are browns and bluish lines. The brown are belong to the face I've just selected. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to extrude this face and get this gizmo, and I want to match the sides to this two bluish inner ones, okay? And then the sides one also. But uh, because it's not precise, we didn't put the uh, those edge loops earlier uh, precisely. So you may have some kind of, uh, you know, uh, it won't be symmetrical. So there are here it's uh, above the line and here it's not. Okay, so what you can do is right click, choose vertices and choose carefully the two brown ones. Okay, and hold down, switch to move tool, hold down the V and try to snap them. Okay, using the side tool, the move tool. But uh, also maybe let's check here what's going on. Yeah, here it also doesn't match. Now, <clears throat> you can't really tell which one of them is uh, the upper one or the lower one. So it's better to go back to the perspective view and grab them manually here, okay, that way. And also check that the snap that we just made didn't made any error in, uh, in our mesh, okay. Uh, it can make uh, some vertices to snap to each other the lower one to the upper one and cause artifacts so just uh, pay attention for it uh, it can happen and it happened to me a few times so I'm just letting you know uh, to double check yourself okay so uh, back to four view top view and here they are now I will hold down the V and snap them or try to snap them okay Okay, right, F8 once or twice, and if I will switch to um, perspective view just to check that everything is fine, great. If you see any weird uh, stuff like lines that are hidden, you know, so that means that probably uh, they're, they've been merged together, so in some way, okay, not merged, but... Uh, they are <coughs> intact or something. So, um, let's press 3 just to see what we get here. Okay, this is how it looks. Uh, I already think that I've done a mistake, but let's continue and see if it's getting correct or not. So, choose face, choose this face, delete it. Okay, and then we grab the lower face and press delete on your keyboard and then right click choose edge double click the lower edge which is the lower okay <laughs> and extrude it once and immediately switch to your move tool and bring them up like so okay so it doesn't have to be that much high just somewhere here and then you can go over edit mesh if you don't see the edit mesh make sure you are at polygons here in this drop down menu, edit mesh, merge vertex tool, and the merge vertex tool works like this. You click on the point you want to attach and click and hold and drag your mouse over the next and they will be snapped. Okay, so uh, this one, the, the first dot, the first vertex is snapping to the next one okay and click drag release click drag release practice on it drag it do whatever it needs and get used to it f8 once or twice to bring it back to object object mode and just make sure you on the selection tool now um, 
the next thing is to uh, press 3 so we can see what's going on here okay this is how it looks and it doesn't look good so um, I want to uh, do two more things the one is right click uh, shift right click insert edge loop we are going to um, create another edge loop here and another one here and we can add one more here I think okay but if we created one more here we probably should create one more at the bottom so click hold drag make sure it's somewhat similar and F8 and 3 to see it okay so it looks like this tap 1 to quit from uh, this thing from smooth preview and hold down the shift right click in search edge loop 2 but click this little box here and release so here uh, you choose multiple multiple edge loops and type in 10 10 it's the limit by the way um, you see the slider is gone after you I type tap enter so what you do is you adding 10 edge loops that way and if you can see them from the inside and the outside that means that everything is by now is correct and you can continue if it doesn't you did some uh, mistake and I suggest you to start all over again <laughs> uh, I'm sorry but this is how it goes um, the next thing is to choose one edge hold down the control right click and choose edge ring utilities to edge ring and split okay so it will add in between those uh, lines we created those edge loops another extra line and then you can choose one edge and press G so it will repeat itself without you uh, do this control right click and all this uh, menu okay G G G I don't know it doesn't some places it just doesn't want to be applied okay now um, now it's really your own decision you can add more extra in between them although uh, I think it's enough but again it's your own decision do whatever you feel um, the idea is to go over face right now choose <coughs> choose all those thicker ones okay leave those uh, those can be hided uh, just select all those okay I somehow select loop select everything but no we don't want to do this we won't select those one by one and you know what it's not the same case as I had earlier so click on one of them double click on the other ones the next the one next to it sorry and then come over here unselect this using the control hold on the control and just select it to unselect it and mm -hmm. yeah those unnecessary so control select them to unselect them and I think a few of the first ones are unneeded but um, I will do this uh, never mind go over edit mesh make sure keep faces together is unchecked okay you see the V sign here to get rid of it you click on it and then what you want to do is you want to click extrude once so the gizmo appears here okay and you want to squeeze this cube like so that way and then you want to uh, squeeze it maybe uh, 
that way a little bit just a little bit and then you want to extrude it once bring it a little bit outside make sure that everything around is following you see everything is happening in all of those faces and then you want to extrude it once again and you want pull it a little bit outside but squeeze it like so and then extrude it once again pull it outside and squeeze it like so so you see I'm trying to uh, give it a look of uh, some half circle or something okay so extrude again and this will be the third time which I can bring them a little bit like so okay so that's nice you see what's happening here F8 to bring it back to object mode and now uh, hold on the shift right click choose insert edge loop and you can do this that way while I suggest you also to uh, first undo that because this was apparently a mistake I will grab these okay sorry hold down the shift right click I need to reset the insert edge loop tool so click on this box here and reset tool and head one more line here okay one more line here and then F8 to bring it back to object mode first and let's press 3 just to see how it looks in smooth preview mode so that that looks awesome this is the how I want it to look like and if you manage to get that far and everything went correctly uh, we can continue so first I want to make this uh, few part tutorial and this is just so I won't have any more mistakes along the way so you will have to excuse me about it um, and we'll continue later on in the next part where we will continue after I will manage to make sure that everything went correctly with this okay so bye for now and see you at the next part